Okay, rational exponents. And so the question on this one, to take that two thirds exponent, and then to see if you can evaluate, simplify, reduce it. So if you remember from previous explanations or class or overview, you can split this exponent up. If you remember that powers to powers are multiplied. So if I rewrote it like that, 125 to the one third, then to the second, remember that two is like over a one. Um, I went through an explanation like this a little bit ago or on one of the last videos where if you had something like this and you can't remember to add or multiply them, remember this squared means literally I have x cubed twice. And if you think about this, whether you need to write it out or not, this is x times x times x and the second one is x times x times x. So how many do you have? I have six of those x's multiplied, so x to the sixth power. So what did you do with these? You multiplied them. What did you do with these? You added them. So a simple example like that quickly could get you unstuck if you forget how to do that. Well then, coming back here, that's why we can split this two thirds up as you see there. So then you, what you need to remember after that is, what's a one third exponent rep represent? That's a cubed root. And what does a cube root mean? A number multiplied three times. And again, if your multiplication facts times tables aren't really that great, this might be a little ch challenging for you, but 125, that's like five quarters, right? So five quarters makes a buck 25, five times 25. So this is five times five, five times five times five. Um, so the cube root of 125, this part right in here, that alone is a five and then it's squared out here. So my final answer for this problem would be 25. Rational exponents ends up being, uh, those, those show up quite a bit on like ACT, SAT types of exams. So you will need to know how to do those.